want to bring in Krishant Mane of the BRS, uh, a spokesperson of the uh, Bharatiya Rashtra Samiti, uh, uh, also with us uh, on the show. Krishant, welcome. Uh, K. Kavita has just been arrested. Dramatic scenes outside her residence. We also saw, uh, you know, an, a, a hot-tempered confrontation between KTR and the Enforcement Directorate officials. Your opening word, Krishank. Well, uh, every word which KTRG has spoken is legal, constitutional, and at the same time, it is a violation by the ED ship. Without a transit warrant, you cannot come arrest beyond jurisdictional borders. You are taking Kavita ji to Delhi without an arrest warrant, without a prisoner transit warrant. Hmm. Isn't it illegal? Is our question. Well, why just couple of hours before the Lok Sabha election notification because let me tell you in September mid-September also which was just weeks before the Telangana assembly election ED came up with this notices of this case and now yet again today just 24 hours before this why shouldn't we say that the Bharatiya Janta Party which is in center hmm. is using this ED or IT against Kavita ji because only thing is her crime is that she is daughter of KCR. Absolutely. They've, because BJP campaigned this extensively in the political speeches during the assembly elections. Now they want to repeat the same in the Lok Sabha elections. Lado hai to. Me lado. But with this case, which is being dragged since July 2022, hmm. and today they come with to arrest without a piece of paper of a transit warrant, why shouldn't we say that this is a political vendetta shift? The BJP has to answer for the this. Enforce, the enforce... Okay. Uh, uh, st stay with me, Krishank. We'll have the BJP with us in just a moment. Uh, Munish Pandey is also uh, live with us on this uh, breaking story. Munish, uh, the BRS says this is all completely illegal. You've got some documents. You've been piecing together this entire story. Take it away, Munish. Yeah, well, Shiv, we have the copy of arrest memo which was served by the enforcement directorate uh, to, uh, you know, K. Kavita. And according to this arrest order, which is dated today, Joginder, assistant director, who is also the investigative officer of the case, in the arrest uh, order, it has been written that he has reasons to believe that K. Kavita, resident of Telangana, has been found guilty of an offence punishable under Prevention of Money Laundering Act and in size of the power conferred upon me under subsection 1 of section 19 of Prevention of Money Laundering Act, I hereby arrest said K. Kavita at 5.20 p.m. on 15th March 2024 and she has been informed of uh, ground for arrest. A copy of the ground of arrest memo which is almost of uh, 14 pages that was served to the husband of K. Kavita. So this is the arrest memo which is confirming that, uh, you know, K. Kavita was placed under arrest and uh, her husband was informed. But also what the other party, that is uh, K. Kavita's lawyers and family members are alleging is that there was an order by the Supreme Court that she should not be arrested. When we spoke to the officials of the enforcement directed, they said that the matter was pending before the court, but there was no stay by the Supreme Court and that is why they decided to arrest uh, K. Kavita and that is also after questioning and what is important here uh, Shiv to highlight that the arrest uh, ground of arrest is of 14 pages and we have been given to understand is that the ED has also highlighted the parts where K. Kavita allegedly destroyed some of the phones. She is someone who was in uh, question by the enforcement director, not only the phone records, but also the parts of the meeting, uh, Shiv, that has been also highlighted by the enforcement director. Mm. Now, ED is alleging at this point of time is that there were multiple meetings in which K. Kavita and representatives of K. Kavita was also part of it. And the transcription of, uh, you know, uh, that particular meeting was very valuable for the enforcement directorate based on which okay. they decided to arrest K. Kavita. Also, Shiv, if you can grant me 30 seconds. Yes, please. The, another important aspect of this arrest is, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Magunta Reddy, who is the member of parliament, his son Raghav Reddy also got licenses during the new excise policy brought in by the Aam Admi Party. Yeah. Raghav Reddy 
recently became a prover in the case, not only for enforcement directed, but for the Central Bureau of Investigation. And Raghav Reddy becomes important because he is someone who was not only part of the meetings uh, attended by K. Kavita allegedly, but also he was someone who was aware of the entire kickbacks, the 100 crore of uh, uh, cash amount which was uh, paid allegedly to Vijay Nair of Aam Admi Party. So he was very crucial. Recently he became a prover and his statement to the enforcement directorate and the Central Bureau of Investigation as an approver, he has told that he has full knowledge that advance kickbacks were paid on behalf of K. Kavita to the representatives um, in Delhi and that became very crucial and that is when the, the enforcement directorate decided okay. to question K. Kavita and later today she was arrested.